What is up YouTube, uh, back again. Today I got a pretty cool one for you. This is a honeybee removal that I did from inside a customer's house. They actually uh, contacted me on Facebook. Uh, these people actually said they had yellow jackets in the wall and uh, showed up and sure enough, they were honeybees. So uh, this is a pretty exciting one. It was super active. It was a house they had bought that wasn't lived in. So it got out of control before anyone knew. And I uh, think you'll really enjoy this one. I don't know if you guys can see behind me here. Here in Chicago, it is uh, snowing already in October. So uh, this is why you're gonna see some automotive videos. I just wanna keep up some activity this winter. So uh, I think I'm gonna do a, like a one automotive project car video a week and then one wasp removal a week, just so my videos will last to the end of the year. And uh, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. Dun, dun, dun. They're just flooding in the wall. Honey bees. Look at this house. It's crazy. They look like they're in the basement, so we're going to go on the floor below this. I haven't even started yet. I already got stung in the nose trying to find out where the nest was. Alright, so I've only done one other bee nest, so I figured I would explain how everything worked this time. So this is vacuum A. That's what we're sucking from. It goes into this vacuum, into the bottom bucket, as you see. There's a second bucket with lots of holes drilled in it, and the tube I'm using to vacuum them comes out of that. So they're going in this second bucket right here, and they're not getting sucked into the vacuum, so none of them are getting hurt. So don't think I'm killing them. All right, so I'm gonna try to vacuum. I drill a little bit more right here. It seems like they're in between the floors, so trying to locate them. I'll uh, be back once we open it up a little more. All right, so I'm gonna kind of show you what we're working with. We got Brando assisting us today. Brando, say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. So uh, I opened this wall up a little more. Here, I'm gonna have to take this off the gimbal, I think. Turn the gimbal off. So I can't see a nest because as you see, there are just thousands of them in there. It's crazy. So I'm gonna vacuum some of these dudes up. You gonna see me, Captain Brando here. We'll be holding onto the camera. Do, 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 do. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna start vacuuming some. See how this goes. Let's do it to it. Alex, I can't tell if that's the comb right there now. I have to open it up a little more, but there's a board right there, so figure that out in a second here. Turn the vacuum back on again.
turn there. Let's try it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there you go. Turn on the, uh, get, we're going to have to use it. Turn it on. There's a ton. <laughs> It looks like it stops by here, but it's definitely over here, over here, all the way up to there. So it's looking like the nest goes from here to about here. Not too crazy, but it'll be interesting when we get it open enough to see how high it goes and which directions it goes. definitely up here you can see the combs I'm gonna vacuum a ton of them up and try to see what's up there it looks like dark comb looks like it's been here for a while all right now you can hold it up in the direction that we're doing stuff and then hit the on switch one more time Yeah, so I can go all the way up to 
there. There's comb behind the wall too. As you can see, this is what I didn't want to see, but there's comb behind the wall too. This might be sketchy. Oh God, I'm stuck to this thing. You see right here though, it's like the very freshest and newest and it looks like it stops here. So hold that again. I'm gonna cut out a little bit right here, just to make sure we're all good. And it does go that way, huh? Okay. Real quick. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just not getting reduced. Alright, hold that. Give me vacuum again and uh woo! We're gonna go back to the vacuum and take that. Alright, let's move this up as high as I can get it. And then go ahead and let her rip. You know what? Let me see the camera too. I think I can get it up in here. guy that's your job the guy Ah, uh, you may have. 
Yeah, you want to hold this for a second while I figure yeah. out what's going on. All right. Booyah, honey shots. Hey, you see down there? It's like the freshest. And then we got some back in there. So I'm going to have to probably cut this wall down right here. Just a little bit to access them. You see they're starting to take over the comb again. Just vacuumed all these dudes off and uh, we're completely covered again. That's how honeybees work, I guess. You can definitely see there's some comb up in here too. So, there we go. Camera guys. Boom. All right. So. And that is the comb. Should I cut past this board to see if they're over here? I'm not 100 here, you know? Oh, God. No, nothing built on this side. So, it's all centered right there. Baker's dozen. They look like a bunch of glazed donuts. So, actually a pretty decent sized nest though. You see how many they completely took over again. It's crazy. I vacuumed up a ton. Right? All right, so I'm once again going to vacuum. Can you go grab me one of the unused buckets? Yeah. Here, I'll hold the camera while you go. All right, still taking over again. I'm gonna take down a couple of these layers just to get more room. And then from there. You can definitely see the layer right there across. That's the only scary part, but that's not much room there. There you go. It's just such an awkward small area to work in. Oh, it really goes up there, huh? Hmm. Yeah, how fresh it is. Yeah. It's gorgeous. They haven't even started. You can see a little bit of nectar, like the more yellowing in the middle, but they really haven't put anything in it yet. A little bit of honey. You see a little drop right there. Yeah. Alright, so next layer. I know guys, you're gonna freaking hate me here. 
Oh boy, that's so brittle. Oh, that's honey. That's fucking capped honey. Look at that. Oh my god. Come here. Look at this. This right here is capped honey. Oh, how gorgeous. I'm gonna basically bring down another section, hold the hose. I'm gonna come down, you're gonna vacuum it, and then we'll put it into the bucket. Yeah. You can go ahead and vacuum them. pretty much just gonna start doing that I'm gonna bring a layer down I'll bring it over here and then we'll video record you vacuuming them off of it okay
just filled with bees. You see putting all the brood in here. They're uh, of course hating the light. Circling the box. Might have vacuumed up the queen. I don't really know. I don't typically look for the queen. I'm trying to suck them all up. I give them all to a beekeeper. And that's what we get. Why is this thing off the There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna put you guys back up and uh better. There we go. Alright, so again like an hour into this removal, everything is covered again. You see up there some honeycomb you know, protruding over into the next area. Get rid of that in a little bit. I'm going to vacuum these guys up again. Uh, hold the vacuum up this time. I'm going to record a little bit of vacuuming them and then we'll cut it for a bit until we get more of this down. Yep. out. I got a few more little strips of honey. One here. A few over here. We vacuum up all these bees. You see this side all done. Room. No more bees over here. We got all the way up in here. So then all that's left is over here. <coughs> a little bit more. You see there's just thousands of them now that there's no hive. <coughs> They're all balling up over here. And uh other than that, we should be done soon. Or, but they're not as bad. So uh, we got the whole nest down. This whole bucket here is all brood comb. We're gonna take all that. We got a lot of honey in it too. Take all that to the beekeeper with all the bees. And on this one, I put them in separate, but that's all the honeycomb. And then uh, other than that, Take you, you see the floor though, it's like World War III in here. There's bees <laughs> everywhere. Stepping on them, I don't mean to. We got some on the wall. We're gonna vacuum all these guys up. As you can see, we got a couple little bundles of them over here. And just anywhere, some honey drip down. They go right to it. I'm gonna re-vacuum up in here, but as you can see, all of the comb has been successfully removed. <laughs> it's honestly a lot bigger. It was a pain getting the comb on this side because there's such a little gap. But uh, other than that, awesome success. Brandon got stung in the ankle. <laughs> <laughs> like that stung in the face. Yeah, I did get stung in the face, but that was before the removal started, you know? I didn't get stung once during the entire removal process. It was just the trying to find out where the nest was they got me in the face. 
do see them all balling up over there though. A couple hundred again. Vacuum all these guys up. You'd even see, I might have to open up this wall a little more to get them because man, there are hundreds of them in that part now. But uh, yeah, other than that, awesome success and uh, catch you guys on the next one. As you can tell now, it is uh, super mellowed down in here. Job well fucking done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed this removal myself. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to show support to the channel. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Mojo and the Little Ones, one of my viewers who does honeybees. I'm going to link his channel in the description. Feel free to go and check him out and uh, catch you guys on the next one.